So after quite a few messages and um, the seller refusing to take any responsibility, even refusing to take it back. Um, and then he did decide that yeah, he would take it back but at my expense. And he tried to push me towards eBay policies, which I sort of, when it comes to the returns of these things, when they turn up faulty, I know inside out. Long story short, let's get all the messages out of the way. He ends up refunding me partially for it. Um, and, uh, and I'm quite happy to take that. I'm quite happy because off camera but I'm going to do it again on camera as I did an insulation test between the between this, there's no earth on this I've, the, the, the wire came off in here and I've resoldered it um, I don't know why but I decided to use a a pen and just inside there but I'm going to, I'm going to clean it out I have already wiped part of it out um, but it is sort of flush, it's a bit grubby you know, unless I can try and find another one of these or make something more suitable. I don't know, I wanted an old one anyway, to be fair, because it was cheap. You know, it's, uh, what's it cost me now? It's like 55 quid, 50 quid, 55 quid. Yeah, 55 quid. Uh, for a naught, 265 volt, 2.5 amp max. Auto transformer. Um, but there's no earth, uh, so I just did an insulation test between the case and the live terminals. You know, uh, well I'll do that again and show you the outcome of that and resolve that. And I'm happy enough with it. It's one of those, you know. Um, I only put 250 volts through it because that's what the windings are, are, are okay with. Uh, maybe I should maybe stick 500 volts through it, but I have, I'll stick with the uh, 250 just for now. Um, so yeah, so that, that's where I got to with this. You know, I'm giving it a bit of a clean, <laughs> and so I don't have to have oil on my fingers anymore. Um, I'll fix this back together, I've sold the wire that came off and now I can just screw it back in, I was going to I think I might just take the case off take this off and take the case off and just have a look around on the inside just to make sure there's no crap or anything and and um hmm, let's see what that's like well I'll come back and do that in a minute because I've just put the kettle on to make a cup of tea so I'm back in the tea okay so, I've, there's a, um, some people in China, let's say that they are, um, do me an, an isolation transformer, a one kilovolt, uh, sorry, um, four amp. So, you know, a thousand VA for £100, £103, and that's including the shipping. So, he said he'd been in here and came a good clean out and everything. So, it'd just be interesting to see if I can just push this down in there. I don't want to damage it. The windings. I'm just trying to see if there's lots of dirt. It doesn't seem to be. They don't look too bad, do they? Doesn't seem to be any in your face sort of damage. Um, you know, I'm not professional on this or anything, but I'm pretty sure if there was in your face damage that I'd be able to notice that. And 
Well, there is a that's, that's good, that's a good thing. I'm just gonna clean. It's not a case of. I just want it to be clean. Feels nice and. I can't. The, the, the brush that goes across, it's. Uh, I can see there's muck across here, so I suppose that hasn't really been cleaned. And he said he cleaned it. Now I don't know if there's something special I ought to put on there. I mean, it's not terribly bad, it's just, maybe it's just me. I'm just going to get that. This uh, cloth's just got a little bit of alcohol. And so there's nothing. Uh, I think it's been used around the halfway mark quite a bit. You can see that. Let me just have a look. bad at all, is it? So. so I'll get inside like this. Just get it wiped around. That's about, you know, about as far as I can actually go with it to do anything. Um, I suppose what isolates. There's not a lot, you know, to isolate between this and this. I mean, there's, you know, there's not, like, big gaps or anything. Or <laughs> It's all very close, but I suppose at least the case does have these. So it can't be pushed in unless you, you know, push in these bits. But there doesn't seem to be any sort of damage on here whatsoever. No dents or anything like that. So I'm quite happy that, you know, that's probably not been terribly abused or... Or nothing like that. So, um, so sit back. Okay. Oh, I shall um, whiz the screws back in here on high speed. Right, so that's, that's on zero. Because actually in there it is, you've got zero because you've got a gap there with no windings. See, the brush goes over onto a no contact point, which is good. Now I've got to have this bang on because it will annoy the life out of me if it's not. If that isn't bang on the zero and then goes around to the 265, it will just drive me nuts. So I'm not going to put you through that, right? <laughs> you have me just getting it right and I'm to undo it again to absolutely get it right. I'm going to quickly do that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh yes. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Even though the top doesn't exactly line up with this mark here. Ah, and that mark there just comes out. So maybe I... Maybe I'll leave that. Because that's the one I've really lined up between there and there. But I think that's just what somebody else has put on. There seems to be a little bit of a dent there, so maybe it's not. I think they put Tipex or something in there. That's that's good, because that means I get there. So it comes off there. It'll be interesting to see now what the actual range is, but let's just do an insulation test first. 
Oh, the, uh, the lady who sold me this gave me three pounds back for my trouble. And then we're going to go to the chassis point. Yeah, with 250 volts. And then we're going to just lock this and put that there. I know it's going to be live, so. that onto there. So that's over limit, right? Out of limit. Let's just show you on the outside as well. So that's out of the upper range. So that's, that's all good then. Okay, now let's turn this on. Hundred and I know it's set on. Well, you say it's, you know, it's well up there in the mega rooms. Which is good. Put it all the way to. That's like 135 mega rooms, so that's, that's well in the clear. Well in the clear. That's all good. Even with my limited understanding, I get that that's good. So, there we go. I, now I'm going to put a power into it. Um, I shall connect. So I'll just type it into this area. Sure. I shall connect using uh, this power block here. Taking those out. I'll get the cable, and I'll run the cable from here to the uh, transformer. And that is a uh, that's a brilliant piece of kit. That is that looks like really helpful, and it's connected to that. Now you can see behind with the blue and red buttons. That's an RCD inline RCD. So I pack this away and come back and let's just a bit tidier and do that connection.